making his way to cage number four in the blue corner, representing Kazakhstan, Konstantin Rakhimov. And his opponent in the red corner, representing Germany, Tom Hoylander. Men's middleweight at 83.9 kilograms or 185 pounds. In the blue corner, already in the cage, Francisco Forcineri from Italy. His opponent currently walking into our cage. Sokunan Khan from Pakistan. Touch of gloves here. For Nassieri has some great footwork. It's very elusive on the outside, a tenacious style as well. Tends to sometimes cross his feet, which puts him off balance. He's going to have to try and work his way around the longer reach of Khan. Khan, very, very tall for a middleweight. Let's see if he can utilize that reach. He's got to keep Fornasieri at the end of his punches, there's the straight right hand. Fonassieri's well, got to use head, head movement, level changes, fakes and feigns to work his way in if he wants to land these punches. The overhand right is available as well. He's got to close the distance. There's the overhand right. Tends to put his head down in these exchanges. He's got to be careful about that. Nice clinch, good escape from Khan. It looked like he wanted to land the left hook, but he just he pulled back on that. So far, Khan, Khan doing a good job utilizing his reach. Tends to be backing up and not driving forward too much. It says to me that he's trying to avoid the ground game for Nassieri. Over at cage number four. So for Nassieri doing a good job of resetting, circling on the outside. Well, serious got to be careful about looping those punches in, punches in, just trying to reach his opponent. Oh, nice trip from Khan. It's like a schoolyard trip. That was beautiful. Vanessieri trying to work these punches close range. Come with a nice uppercut. C close range here. And that's his friend in this fight, uppercuts to deter this, the level changes, and especially because when Astieri puts his head down in these exchanges, oh, nice. Outside trip. Difficult round to score given the takedown was given to both. I mean, the striking was long from Khan, but he was on the back foot and he was on the outside. A difficult one to score. Mm. Look at the replay. There was that beautiful uppercut. A nice teep as well from Khan.
Monastieri did a good job of obtaining this clinch here. Trapped the arm as well. And here we see the outside trip. And see if circle round. You see what adjustments are made in the second round. Fonestieri definitely wants the clinch. He's got to punch his way in. And Khan is going to stay on the outside, work those long punches, show that uppercut as well to deter Fonestieri coming in and changing levels. See there, even when they touch gloves, Khan wants to do it at distance. He doesn't want to allow that opportunity for Fonestieri to get close. He's got to be careful about firing those kicks because if Fonestieri can catch one of those, he could turn that into a takedown. Heavy leg kick from Fornasieri. All oh, return fire from Khan. There's the uppercut, just misses its mark. That's the right idea for Khan now as he finds himself on his back, side control for Fornasieri. A minute and 50 seconds left in the second round. Can Fornasieri do anything with this? Can he advance to mount or potentially look for submissions here? did a good job of getting back to his feet. He's got to force the head away, create space, pommel the underhooks. Great takedown and mat return for Fornasieri. Can't kick away on the hips quite well. If he can get some separation, he can potentially spring back to his feet. But he's got to anticipate that Fornasieri is going to charge him. As you can see here, Fornasieri charges in, but he used the cage as a base point. Fornasieri again with the circular motion. Khan stalking his opponent, looking for the left hook, but again comes forward and gives Fornasieri the distance closure that he needs to work the clinch, get close, get his hands on his opponent. Ten seconds left now in the second round. Can't look it down there, a little bit deflated. Might be fatigue setting in. As you can see, Fonasieri taking the stall as well. We'll take a look at the replay here. Khan off of his back and he springs to his feet. But watch Fonasieri come storming forward straight away. And Khan must have known that was going to happen. So as he sprung to his feet, he should have dug for the underhooks potentially and dipped his head to elude the punches. There's a beautiful uppercut, even with from the overhook there from Khan due to the long arms. Some hammer fists and knees to the leg right at the end of the round there. Touch of gloves, third and final round, three minutes on the clock. From Nasieri from Italy and Khan from Pakistan. 
Fonestieri taking a lap to reset. Just showing he's still got the energy actually to implore this elusive style, this footwork in the striking realm. Khan with some nice aggressive punches now. He's got to work these long shots, the jabs, the long left hook. <laughs> 